Claudio Castillo, today is April 16th, 2020, and this is my piece of generative art. It's called Proof of Life. And it is a piece of art that's connected to the BBC, and it's receiving a news feed from the BBC. And I get the headlines in the first paragraph to which I add a text that I wrote. Uh, the name of the newspaper is uh, from a news newspapers that have gone out of business in the U.S. I'm bringing them back to life with new information. And the foreground picture is the stock market in real time. Um, the idea here was to see how the news affected the stock market. So when the stock market is up, the palm tree is green. When the stock market is down, the palm tree is red. Right now it's set to the Dow Jones. It's 5 to 1 on April 16th. The market is closed. The palm tree turns to its natural neutral color and it remains that color until the market opens on the next day. The same thing happens if the market uh, is even. But basically it goes green to red during the market hours to show up and down fluctuations in the market. The idea behind this piece of art originally was twofold. First of all, it was to show how the, the belief that the news affect the market uh, is not true. And also it was done during the Iraq invasion where the media was embedded within the army and therefore controlled everything that was said and printed. Old newspapers back to life as an homage to dying media. For example, today the news is bad as you can see, coronavirus everywhere, but the market is doing okay.